to play devil's advocate here, JB's on the board. You know, that to me is like, JB's got a special place in my heart. You know, Tesla, the CTO, he really is a pioneer of this. Is it just that this is a cool science project? You know, wh what do they have that other solid state companies don't? Because to me, there, there's something like, right? Like, what do they have that solid power doesn't that's getting JB pumped? And that's what I can't figure out. I don't know. And that, that's what was missing for me. They, there's, there was some promise hidden in those slides that they shared, or I, I wouldn't say it's hidden. It was just, they were hinting to the fact that they had something special. They're saying that they required lower temperatures and they were saying that they required lower pressures, but they left out um, a lot of information, for instance, about the, the liquid electrolyte and they don't have a multi-layer cell yet. So I don't know if JB's involved with it because he thinks it's the most promising technology or because he wants to have his foot in the door and one of these companies to watch how the technology evolves. And I think it's also important to note that a lot of times I try to draw attention to smaller companies like um, Soteria, Tolga, Novonics, just to illustrate to people that the battery space is larger than Tesla. It's, I'm not saying, um, uh, I think a lot of people think or I'm biased about quantum scape, but it, it's quite the opposite. I really want QuantumScape to succeed. I'm just disappointed that they didn't reveal what I needed to know in order to get, you know, be able to get behind them and push as well and say, hey, uh, I'll be a champion of QuantumScape as well. Um, and this, this might be why JB has joined QuantumScape to maybe raise its profile and raise the profile of companies outside of Tesla, just how I'm trying to raise the company uh, the profiles of companies outside of Tesla. You wouldn't know it based on like based on all my videos, most of my videos being about Tesla for the past year, but that's because it's taken a year to break down battery day. That's how big it was. What, what I keep coming down to, I heard a really interesting tweet by Sam Chorus is like, uh, maybe this solid state battery shouldn't be commercialized until an electric airplane. And that's when it makes sense. And I know JB really wanted to do an electric airplane. So I thought that was really interesting, but that almost made me feel worse about quantum scape because what they're pitching here is this EV battery partnership with VW in 2025, an electric car. But then you also have the VW guy saying it's a premium product. So maybe it won't be in the cheapest car. And then I'm like 2025, we have Tesla with factories all around the world. We have self-driving cars. Like who's buying a VW in 2025, especially if its specs are worse than Tesla and it can't drive itself. Like the business angle didn't make sense to me. And so to me, it's kind of a shame that they're focusing on uh, like this partnership with VW that is like to make a product in five years that doesn't excite me when it's like, no, let's like partner, let's be way more lean. Let's partner with Boeing. Let's partner with Airbus. Let's work on like uh, other, you even mentioned the first time we were chatting about this, like AirPods or like different electronics where the solid state is going to have all these characteristics that are way better versus trying to compete with something on cost and scale that Tesla's already done better. Like the business case makes no sense to me. And I think I'm taking a little bit of a skeptical tone on it. People could say I'm biased, but it's like, I, if it wasn't worth 30 billion and they weren't putting out this presentation, hyping people up saying they're going to sell battery that's going to change the world, then I wouldn't care. I'd be like, dope. It's JB and his homies in the lab. Like this has hella potential. I'm so hyped. I want to be a fan and rooting for every single battery technology that's going forward. But then if you're like showing me 2015 data, you're saying you're ignoring the claims that Elon Musk made at battery day, selling a million EVs, saying like the battery technology is not there to have a good EV that can get there. And I'm like, actually, I know it is. And it's the 4680 cell. And so it's like, and then you have a lot of investors buying into a $30 billion company that sells batteries. Like we all forgot in this market mania, batteries is the shittiest business to be in. Like it's, you have to buy massive machinery equipment. It's a huge capital investment for extremely low margin, essentially commoditized product that, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be, to give it as much of, of the benefit of the doubt as possible, but I'm curious what you, your take on that this is really a, a flying plane technology for solid state because it feels like to me, Elon in the 4680 in the robo taxi, you know, they push the, the lithium ion cell to where that tail end of disruption goes to cyber truck, goes to semi trucks. Those are things that maybe the VTOL jet at 400 watt hours per kilogram, if we can get that open up 4680 with silicon and a couple other things. So to me, that's the over, why we can't not mention Tesla because they've literally bumped up the curve of potential of lithium ion technology to where the $30,000 solid state EV doesn't need to exist yet. That's quantum state's business model. So that's kind of like this deep, you know, thing that just doesn't make sense in my mind when I, when I look into this. I've thought about that little, a little bit, but you've, uh, the way you phrased it, um, it really resonates with me based on what quantum scape unveiled last week or the week before. I don't see how that technology can, can be competitive with other, uh, other developments that we're seeing in the space. 
if they do release this, you know, 20, 2025, 2027, it's going to be more like an alpha of solid state. And perhaps years down the road, maybe 2030, 2035, then it'll really start to hit, hit its stride and it'll really start pulling away from the, the lithium ion silicon batteries and uh, be able to give us something that's uh, really special for VTOL. Yeah, that's, I totally agree. It's, it, it's, it simply doesn't add up so far what, what they've revealed to us. And I would like to say something uh, more, more positive than that, and I don't think it's necessarily negative, uh, but I need more data. I need a research paper. I need to know uh, little bits and pieces of information. I don't need to know the detail of how it works, but it, you know, at least let me know if you've used a few drops of, uh, of liquid electrolyte and show a broader range of performance characteristics or a more standard set of performance characteristics that I would generally see in a research paper. Or another thing I noticed in their presentation is that it looks like they use different battery cells for different tests. So it's like they uh, designed a battery cell for the test and rather than using a, a single cell across all those different tests, which is kind of like one of the most important things about the scientific method is that you have a control. You use your control and that way you can, you know, uh, tell the difference across different characteristics. Wow.